Welcome to Ali Polar MIG Tutorials. In the fifth tutorial of the series, we will explain the set of tools for the main screen used for editing the augmented reality, and we will show with examples how to edit a microphone. In this example, we see the supercalitude polar pattern of the multi pattern tube microphone Lewitt LCD 940. We begin the matching that will allow us to monitor the directivity of the microphone in the child's position. First, we perform the manual matching. We activate the autofocus and, touching the screen, we initiate the automatic matching process. The monitoring screen appears after the matching process is finished. In this screen, we have the following functions. We escalate the polar pattern by the gesture of pinching two fingers. Scaling allows us to extend the axis of the polar diagram, keeping the microphone's directivity. We can see how the divot drop in each of the directions remains unchanged, and this allows us to interpret the directivity of the microphone in relation to the sound sources in the environment. In multi-pattern models, we can use the directivity selector located at the left of the screen and check with it which directivity is the most appropriate. Each curve of the polar pattern can be enabled or disabled by its corresponding frequency button. In the example, we can see a cardioid pattern showing a little over 5 dB loss at 120 degrees for frequencies below 2 kHz, which is an important part of the frequency range of TOM1. If in this situation we select a supercardio directivity, we observe a loss of more than 15 dB at 120 degrees on all frequencies below 8 kHz. Selecting this directivity allows a cleaner take for the mix. Array Polar Mic easily and conveniently indicates the angles with dead zones for a model of microphone. Array Polar Mic shows the sectioned polar patterns for a better interpretation of the curves. With the manual or automatic rotation function, we can test any selection of the globe. It is important to remember at this point that the polar pattern is shaped like a globe and that the 2D section shown in Array Polar Mic can be rotated to simulate the directivity of the microphone when it has the capsule aligned with the axis. In the case of large diaphragm or ribbon microphones, caution should be exercised in the interpretation of the rotated polar pattern, since there is often vertical variation in its directivity. At the bottom of the tracking screen, the frequencies of the curves are shown. Clicking on the frequencies enables or disables the corresponding curve. Below we find the button that displays two editing functions of augmented reality, a fader and a knob. The fader allows to vary the intensity of the interior zone of a curve. The knob allows you to vary the thickness of the edge of the curve. We can use these two functions to stand out one or more frequencies above the rest. The color adjustment functions allow you to edit the colors of the polar patterns and so clearly visualize the microphone's directivity, avoiding interference, with the background of the scene you are capturing. The camera adjustment function allows you to vary the contrast and change to the black and white mode to highlight the directivity of the microphone on the stage. Our Polar Mic allows you to save the changes made as a preset. The technical specifications of the Mojave MA200 indicate that it's a tube microphone with high sensitivity and a significant attenuation in its posterior side. In the example, we can observe this loss between 120 and 240 degrees, so that with the orientation of the microphone we can enhance the uptake of the guitar amplifier and minimize the uptake of the other instruments. Version 1.0 of Aeropolar Mic requires mild displacement of our mobile device to be able to keep the tracking going. For more information about Ari Polar Mic, visit our web Ari Tech Labs. On our YouTube channel, you will find more tutorials and videos of Ari Polar Mic. Thanks for your attention and see you soon.